Andrew Horror Bloomberg President Trump on Wednesday shared three inflammatory anti-Muslim videos on Twitter posted by a furite British activist. The videos, whose authenticity could not be independently verified, were first shared by Jada Franson, the deputy leader of Britain First, which bills itself as a political party but has been widely condemned as an extremist group that targets mosques and Muslims. Britain First has previously posted a number of misleading videos, and the three Trump shared were provocatively titled Muslim Migrant Beats Up Dutch Boy on Crutches, Muslim Destroys a Statue of Virgin Mary and Islamist Mob. Pushes Teenage Boy Off Roof and Beats Him to Death Franson, 31, who lives in a London suburb, was convicted of religiously aggravated harassment in November 2016 after abusing a woman wearing a hijab. Franson was arrested again earlier this month after comments she made during a speech in Belfast. The White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment as to why the president retweeted Franson's provocative and unverified videos. It was not immediately clear how the videos came to Trump's attention, but conservative columnist Van Coulter, whom Trump follows on Twitter, retweeted one of them on Tuesday. The video of the rooftop mob dates to July 2013 and was purportedly filmed in Alexandria, Egypt, shortly after the military overthrew President Mohamed Morsi, an Islamist and the country's first democratically elected president. The coup set off weeks of protests and violent clashes between Morsi's supporters on one side, and Egyptian security forces and military supporters on the other culminating in an Egyptian security force raid on a Pramorsi protest camp that had as many as a thousand people. The president has a history of retweeting other controversial supporters, including white supremacists and neo-Nazis, and during his campaign proposed a ban on all Muslims from entering the country. Following Trump's retweets, Franson took to Twitter to tell the use. President's promotion of her videos. Donald Trump himself has retweeted these videos and has around 44 million followers, she wrote. God bless you Trump God bless America Trump's tweets were strongly condemned by the Council on American Islamic Relations Care, the nation's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization. By his unconscionable and irresponsible actions this morning. President Trump is clearly telling members of his base that they should hate Islam and Muslims, said Nihad Awad, the group's national executive director. These are actions one would expect to see on virulent anti-Muslim hate sites, not on the Twitter feed of the President of the United States. Trump's posts amount to incitement to violence against American Muslims. His actions should be condemned by all American political and religious leaders regardless of their party or faith. Piers Morgan, a British journalist and television host who was also a winner on Trump's Celebrity Apprentice, was also quick to rebuke the president. Good morning, Mr. President at Real Nail Trump, what the hell are you doing retweeting a bunch of unverified videos by Britain first, a bunch of disgustingly racist furite extremists? Please stop this madness and do your retweets, he wrote. Britain First was founded in 2011 and has sought to have its members elected to parliament but has failed to win seats. Nick Ryan, of the anti-extremist group Hope Not Hate, told the independent newspaper it was pretty incredulous that the leader of the free world would stoop to sharing content from one of the most notorious furite groups in the UK. In June 2016, the Labour Party Member of Parliament Joe Cox was led by an assailant alleged to have shouted Britain first. Leaders of the Britain first group said there were no ties between the attacker and their organization. The assailant, however, had links to neo-Nazi groups. On Wednesday, Cox's widower, Brendan Cox, tweeted Trump has legitimized the far right in his own country, now he's trying to do it in ours. Spreading hatred has consequences the president should be ashamed of himself. William Booth in London and Abigail House Loner in Washington contributed to this report.